Today is Friday, June 16, 2023. Um, the time is 11.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I received this word about an hour ago, if that. Uh, the Lord wants me to read from just this short passage in Jeremiah before I begin and tell you uh, what he said. So this is going to be Jeremiah chapter 25, verse 13. I will bring upon that land all the words that I have uttered against it, everything written in this book, which Jeremiah prophesied against all the nations, for many nations and great kings shall make slaves even of them. And I will recompense them according to their deeds and the work of their hands. This is what the Lord said. A time is coming, a time of mourning, a time you will lament that you did not heed this warning. Many of you will have no excuse. You shut your ears to my cries, laughed at and mocked my prophets, but you won't be laughing now. When your homes are a desolate ruin, all of your possessions are carried away or destroyed by floodwaters. Everything you work so hard to achieve, gone in a moment. You will cry when destruction comes upon you. You will look for me, but if you do not repent, if you do not turn from your wicked ways, I will destroy your land. I will make it a desolate waste, a habitation for jackals. Someone else will enjoy your hard-earned possessions. You will watch as they carry away all that you own even taking your children as slaves. Will you continue to defy me with no consequence? Will you continue to mock my only begotten son or put up your abominations all over the cities? Did you think I would overlook your idol worship when I said you shall serve no other gods but me? When I warned you not to practice the religious rituals and customs of other nations that know me not. Will you defy the one true living God and slander my name? You will not. You will die by the sword, famine, and disease. I will bring plagues upon you like nothing you have ever seen. Foolish nation, your rebellion will cost you greatly. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, but your land is rampant with both. Judgment will come upon you swiftly for the trafficking of my children, for the whoredom and adultery that is so prevalent here. Every man lusting for his neighbor's wife, flattering each other with your tongues while cursing the other behind their backs, parading through the streets, waving a symbol of my covenant to never again flood the earth while you make a mockery of my son's sacrifice. Who is it you are mocking? He who sits in heaven laughs, knowing your end is near. You have become reprobate. Many of you have been turned over to a depraved mind to do things which ought not be done. I have loved you from everlasting, and still you reject me. Those who reject me on the earth, I will reject before my Father in heaven. You will be commanded to depart from me on the day of judgment. I will weep for your pride. I will weep for your ignorance. But by then it will be too late. I am a righteous judge. Those who have not placed their faith in my Son, those who have not repented, those who have not been born again, those who lived according to the law and not grace will dwell with Satan and his angels for eternity in a place where the fire is not quenched and the worm never dies. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The wages of sin is death, eternal destruction. That is what you are choosing. 
apart from me. Choose whom this day you shall serve. Thus saith the one who was and is and is to come. As always, I encourage you to test the spirit. And the only way that you're able to do that is by the Holy Spirit. So when you test the spirit, what you're doing is you're asking the Lord for confirmation to what you heard today. You're going to go into the secret place and pray and ask him for a word of knowledge, some confirmation, or you're even going to go into your Bible and ask him to speak to you there and confirm or deny what was spoken today.